sometimes I look at the copyright date on a song and I think, wow, really? This is one of those songs. It's astonishing to me that it wasn't written until 2004, as it seems like a song that we've sung since I started getting involved in church music in 2001. There's something about these early 2000s worship songs that really tended to focus more specifically on a thought and then flesh that thought out a bit. I was at a conference where Chris Tomlin was sharing about this song once, and he was talking about how he got a lot of pushback from people about his lyrics. And he was sharing that one of the lines which he got pushback was on the line, he wraps himself in light. Which, given our discussion earlier with Immortal Invisible, it doesn't shock us that his response was simply to point people to Psalm 104, which contains that very line in it. As we sing about God's greatness, let's consider that psalm. My soul, bless the Lord. Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed in majesty and splendor. He wraps himself in light as it were a robe, spreading out the sky like a canopy, laying the beams of his palace on the waters above, making the clouds his chariot, walking on the wings of the wind, and making the winds his messengers, flames of fire his servants. And the psalm goes on to show how God's majesty is evident in his works of creation, and then ends with, May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they pour out smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. May my meditation be pleasing to him. I will rejoice in the Lord. May sinners vanish from the earth and wicked people be no more. My soul bless the Lord. Hallelujah. God, 
Sing with me how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. 